back with Drew Carey. Uh, now, uh, I have a beef with you. I have a comedy beef with you. Really? Yes. For many years, as the, as the people out there know, and you mentioned before, you were the host of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Right. Okay. And uh, I was very, I was very happy, very honored that you guys asked me to come on many years ago, like 2000 and 2000 maybe, a long time ago. Yeah. And and I said, sure, you're I'd great, like. You're great, by the way. Thank you very much. You're, you're very welcome. kind of you to say. I'd done a lot of improvisation up, up before then in Chicago, and I said, oh, I'll be great. And I said, I just have one request. I just have one request, and is that please, please, I'll do anything. Don't ask me to rap. Because, like, white guy rapping, like, white guy rapping, just, I just, I can't do it. And, uh, and fun I... Fun to watch. It is. <laughs> agonizing to do. Fun to watch. And so, I having a really great time. And the very last thing I did, like, of the entire, like, the, I think we shot two shows or something in yeah. one sitting. It's like, you're like, all right, let's do a rap. Steven, why don't you get up on stage? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn it. You know... I have nothing to do with who, that's all Dan Patterson and the production crew who did uh -huh. that. They're the ones that did it to you. You tell me. him to go to hell. I will. <laughs> you know, I think at the end of the show, maybe the band, because you have a special guest, maybe you can do a rap with the band. Oh, that'd be great. You too. The two of us. The two of us. If you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. We'll see if we have time, Drew. Um, uh, Give me a told... beat. Exactly. So, uh, okay, now, I got a couple of questions here because... Sure. Um, my graphics department oh, here yeah, is absolutely fans. addicted. So why they're they're addicted because during the day they're doing graphics and they have the TV on in the background when they're supposed to be working. That's exactly right. They're well, they're the working, but right they're, you're they're like you're, they they consider you a, a member of the graphics department. Well, okay, because you're there every day. So I got some rapid fire questions here that they need to know because they're really curious Later about about prices. Right? Okay. Describe the tension of the spinning wheel. How hard is it to spin? Uh, it's actually a lot heavier than people think it is because it's made out of like a, a, a wood, you know, like a plywood. And yeah. uh, if you ever see like a, like a really old lady or something like that who has, doesn't have a lot of strength, they're almost the perfect spinners when they go first because they can get it around exactly once. <laughs> okay. Uh, how often do you get hurt from enthusiastic hugging? I get, that, I get asked that a lot. Uh, like you must get tired of people jumping up. I really actually love it. The hugs are great. People pick me up, they spin me around only one time. I think second or third season, a woman kicked me in the nuts. All right. It, was a, it wasn't a full on, like, I, it was more like a love tap kind of a thing. <laughs> it was more like a, one of those, hey, pay attention ones that you get every once in a while. Uh, okay, and then uh, the, the guys and the girls in graphics have a theory if, if, about Plinko, okay? Yes. Their theory is if you drop the chip from the dot of the I on the Plinko sign, are you more likely to win $10,000? Uh, my theory is you should drop it from the center, and the dot of the eye is off to, if you're looking at it, off to the left just a little bit. So you want to drop it where the break in the N is on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You want to drop it from there. That's right in the middle. So yeah. that's, if I was playing Plinko, I would drop it from right there and just let it go. I wouldn't shove it or put any spin on it. I would just put it even there and just put my hand off and let it drop from the middle. All right. Good. That to me has the best chance of getting the 10,000. That's middle. professional advice right there, okay? <laughs> and then, straight from the horse. Then lastly, straight from the horse. Lastly, we here love The Price is Right. We love The Price is Right theme song. Because <laughs> okay. we believe The Price is Right theme song can make anything happy. I actually, like, when I get up in the morning, when I brush my teeth and stuff, it's playing in my head, to believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm getting ready for work. Okay, <laughs> we, we can prove that it can make anything happy. Okay. All right? Um, we like to play it over uh. Uh, film footage. Okay? <laughs> All right. So we got a couple of them loaded up right here. Right the... All right, uh, let's, uh, Jim. This is this is the first example how the Price Is Right theme song can make any moment happy, uh, Jim. Are we? Are All right, right. Do, you want, do you want to do that, one? Is that, is that the only one you have? No, no, we got another. Would you like to call for one? Yeah, what's his name? Jim. Hey, Jim, put up another one, man. This is funny. What is it? Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! <laughs> okay, as long as long as I got you here, I got one more, the one that I've I've wanted to see. We've been doing this for a little while, but this is this is my favorite one. And uh, 
And this is just very special to me, and I hope you don't mind if we do uh, one more. No, not at all. Jim? Yeah, no! so much. The Price is Right airs weekdays on the CBS television network. Drew Carey, everybody. We'll be right back with Claire Foy and Matt Smith.